Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to be dividing mixed numbers. And as you can see, there are two problems on your screen that we're going to be going through in order to get this down. Now, up top, there's a very important rule we need to remember when it comes to dividing fractions. Keep, switch, and flip. So keep that in mind and reference the top of that screen as we go through these problems. So let's jump right in to number one. So we have three and three fourths divided by one and a half. So the first thing we need to do when we're dividing mixed numbers, we need to change them to improper fractions. That way we have a numerator and a denominator. So let's change three and three fourths to an improper fraction. So the first thing we need to do is do four times three and then add the numerator. So four times three is 12 plus that three is 15. So that 15 is going to be the numerator of our improper fraction. We keep the denominator of four, this four right here. Denominator stays the same. Now 15 fourths holds the same value as three and three fourths. We're not changing the problem at all. We're just putting it into a different form. Divided by, let's do one and a half now. Two times one is two, plus one is three. Keep the denominator of two the same. Now we have 15 fourths divided by three halves. So now we need to follow our dividing fractions rules. Keep, switch, and flip. So the first improper fraction, we keep 15 fourths. We switch the division sign to multiplication. And since, since we switch division to the opposite to multiplication, we need to flip the second fraction. So the two is going to go up top and the three is going to be our denominator. So two thirds. Now we can multiply straight across to give us our answer. 15 times two, 30. And four times three is 12. So 30 over 12 is our final answer, but we don't want to leave it in as an improper fraction. So we need to uh, change it to a mixed number. So the first thing we need to do, how many whole groups of 12 can we pull out of 30? 30 divided by 12. Well, 12, 24. Two whole groups of 12 can be pulled out of 30. With a remainder of 6, and we keep our denominator of 12 the same. So again, two whole groups of 12 can be pulled out of 30 with a remainder of six, and we keep that denominator of 12 the same. So two and six twelfths is our answer, but let's check to see if the fractional part, the six twelfths, can be simplified, and it can. A common factor, the greatest common factor between six and 12 is six, so I'm going to divide both the six and 12 by six to put that fraction in its lowest terms. So we get two, and six divided by six is one, and 12 divided by six is two. So our final simplified answer is two and a half. So let's try number two now. So for number two, we have 10 and a third divided by three and four fifths. So again, first thing we need to do, change these to improper fractions so we have a numerator and a denominator. Three times 10 is 30, plus one is 31. We keep our denominator of three the same. Again, not changing the value of these mixed numbers or the problem in general, just changing the form the mixed numbers are in. Divided by, Five times three is 15, plus four is 19. 
keep the denominator of 5 the same. Now we need to keep, switch, and flip. So 31 thirds we keep, switch to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. Now we can multiply straight across to get our final answer. So 31 times 5 is 155. And 3 times 19 is 57. So that's our answer, but we don't want to leave it as an improper fraction. So we need to change it back to a mixed number. So we need to do 155 divided by 57. So I'm going to come to the bottom here. Some of these you might not be able to do mental math. I'm not sure how many groups of 57 can be pulled out of 155, how many whole groups. So I'm going to come down to divide. And it turns out that two whole groups of 57 can be pulled out of 155. And that gets me to 114. Let's subtract to see what the remainder is going to be. And the remainder is going to be 41. So two whole 57s out of 155 with the remainder of 41 keep the denominator of 57 the same. Now 41 over 57 is in simplest form. There's no other common factors between the two than one, so it is done, and our answer is two and 41 57ths. So there you have it. There's how you divide mixed numbers. Change to improper fractions, and then keep, switch, and flip. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.